In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn this picture into a moving video completely for free using various AI tools. So, without further ado, let me show you how you can create an ASMR video just like this one using AI tools. So, the first AI that you must use is called Reef.art. So I'm going to leave the link in the video description. So basically, this is one of the best AI tools for creating images. Now, technically, you can use ChatGPT or Recrow or uh, something else. But for this demonstration, I'm going to be using Reef Image. Now, after that, you can log in or create account on this app. And then you can navigate to the create menu. And then you can start describing the thing that you want to create. For this example, I'm going to be using this AI prompt. A cozy, warm fireplace with glowing flames, a comfortable setting with a hot cup of coffee placed nearby on a wooden table, soft lighting, and, relax and a relaxing atmosphere, minimal light. So that's my prompt, but feel free to customize the prompt as you wish. Now for the aspect ratio, I'm going to select 16 by 9, and for the number of images, I think I'm going to create two images. And I do recommend to enable the AI uh, prompt enhancement and also the seed is auto. And after that, just send a message to Reef AI. So it will create two images and I can pick the one that I think look the best for this demonstration. And then later, we are going to use this picture into a video. We are going to turn that into a moving video just like this one. So I'm going to pause the video first. Now, I think... Uh, of these two images, I would prefer this one. It looks way, way better. Now I'm going to select this picture and I'm going to download that to my computer. All right, so we got this picture, which I think looks quite interesting. Now we are going to turn that picture into a video. Let's navigate to Google Air Studio. This is the URL. Again, I'm going to leave all the links in the video description. And then here you can log in to your Google account and usually it's going to ask you to give permission or access to your account. Basically just click accept and then go to video gen. Here you want to upload the picture that you just created on Reef AI. I'm going to click on this button, click upload image and then click this picture. Now you can describe uh, about the scene in this case i will try to make the fire to be moving so it's going to be a burning fire and then there's going to be some steam coming out from the map and then static camera you can use the exact same prompt or you can use your own prompt but i do recommend to keep it static and after that you can look on the right side of the screen there is the setting uh, the model is going to be vo2 the number of results just one aspect ratio is 16 by 9 which is the same aspect ratio of the picture duration is eight seconds maximum and that's basically it you cannot uh change the frame rate and resolution but that's okay you can add some negative problem if you want to but that's optional after that you can click run and just wait for vo2 to generate or to create the video out of the picture that was created uh, on Reef AI. So this process will take usually less than one minute and I'm going to show you the result later. All right, so this is the result. Let me play this video. There you go. So there's a burning barrier and also there's nice steam coming from the hot coffee. And after that, you can click the download button right here. And we got this video. So the next thing that we can do is that we can add some back sound effect to this video. The tool that I recommend for creating AI sound effect is Giz AI. So this is the website, giz.ai, and then you can create a account for free. And actually there are many AI tools that lets you create uh, AI audio effect, but this one is free. And you know, I would say it's still one of the best uh, options out there. And after that, I'm going to, you know, open my, uh, launch the app basically. And then here you want to select AI audio. Click on this option and click AI audio. Now I'm going to describe the scenery of, of the video, which is just a simple fireplace. You can add more information about it, but fireplace is the basic minimum or the bare minimum that you could provide to this AI tool. And after that, you can select the model, but I do recommend to just keep using the default setting. 
and send a message to this AI tool. So it will generate a 30 second audio sound effect in less than uh, 20 seconds and it should show up very, very soon. And there you go. So this is the audio that was created and I'm going to download this audio. And now the next thing that we can do is that we can add or we can combine the audio and also the video that were created by AI. Now, there are many, many video editors that can do this. It's really up to you. If you have any preferred video editor, you can use that. But for this example, I'm going to be using Canva.com. So Canva.com is free. And again, it also has some various AI features. After that, you can open any document, but I do recommend to open a document with the size or aspect ratio that is the same as the picture or the video that was created. In this case, it, I'm going to be using a YouTube video with the exact same uh, dimension from the video that I created on Google AI Studio. And after that, you can upload both the audio and also the video uh, that you created before. So here, let's navigate to the upload menu and I'm going to just drag and drop the files right here. And now just wait until the videos and audio files are uploaded to uh, this project. Now, uh, I think I'm going to go with the video first. Uh, let's put this into the frame. I'm going to click this and I'm going to right click and then set video as background. Now, I do recommend to open duration. And then here, basically, I'm going to right click and then duplicate the page. I think I'm going to duplicate it maybe three times or maybe four times. Uh, there you go. So I have four different scenes. Actually, they are the same scene. And basically, I'm doing that because I want to match the duration of the audio, which is around 30 seconds. Here, you want to add some transition between one scene to another. And you can actually hover above the gap between the two scenes. Click this button and then add the dissolve effect. And then click apply between all pages. Uh, if you play the video, you'll see that there's going to be a smooth transition between one scene to another. So it will prevent some jarring transition which will usually easy to notice but thanks to that uh, transition it's going to be a lot less noticeable now i'm going to go back to the uploads menu and i'm going to insert the audio file into this video let me just click and then drag it right here at the bottom and there you go so we got this video and by the way if you feel like the audio is too small or not loud enough you can click it and then you can click uh, adjust actually you can sorry you can click on this button volume and then click balance all so it will balance the audio level across this audio file apparently 253 is the best setting for this audio and there you go that's uh the video that we just created i'm going to play the preview before downloading this uh, project All right, I think it looks amazing. Now, when you're done with the editing, you can click on the share button. Click download, and then make sure that you select all pages. And then uh, it's going to be MP4 video. Uh, you can increase the quality if you want to, but I'm going to go with the native resolution. And after that, click download. So it will render the video and then we'll convert that into a .mp4 file which later you can upload to your social media account or maybe to your YouTube channel. And this is the final result. So that's all that you need to do to create a cool SMR a fireplace video using various AI tools completely for free. So if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.